Hi, this video is going to discuss the upgrade process for the FlowSim solution. We will never upgrade a FlowSim solution without your permission. Our customer success manager that is assigned to your account will reach out to you when there is a new version pending and schedule the upgrade during downtime so we're not going to affect any of your uh, existing users. Once that upgrade is done, it takes roughly 10 to 15 minutes to execute. There are some steps you need to complete on your end to make sure all of those changes are pushed out to your environment. This video will show you what those changes are and how they need to be executed. Once you've been notified that your upgrade is complete, you will go into your Flowsum application and click on the settings tab. You then go over and you will click on the upgrades tab and then you will launch this reset settings page. This page contains the activities you need to do to make sure everything is upgraded. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that all of the profiles that we use in Flowsum are upgraded with all the latest changes. Uh, in this case, I'm using three in here. You can select all, but basically just the Flowsum and the admin are the main ones used. If you have, as I have, I have cloned my Flowsum and done another one, you want to make sure you highlight that and add it here. So now all of these three profiles We'll get any new permissions or settings that have been added as part of our upgrade. You will click on update. In just a matter of a couple minutes, uh, it'll come back and these things will be upgraded and we can go on to the next step. So you can see this step has been completed. So you can see it made some changes to the profiles on these particular objects. The next thing we need to do is what we call upgrade the applications. This will add any new tabs or reorder any tabs based on uh, changes we have added into that upgrade. So we click on that update button, and again, in a matter of a couple minutes, this will be completed and you move on to the next section. So we can see the application has been updated. And lastly, we need to go in and update layouts with any new functionality that has been added in the Flowsome solution. Now, being 100% in Salesforce, we do allow you to customize and extend Flowsum. So if you've modified any layouts, um, you know, added any additional fields for tracking purposes, um, anything like that, you can put that layout over here, save this, and then we will keep that in mind when we're doing this upgrade so we're not going to delete any changes you made. Uh, leaving this empty, we'll reset these to the factory um, setting, so to speak. So any field you've added in, any list views, anything you've done to customize Flowsum will be gone. So all the layouts you modified, you want to specify here. Click on Save. Then go back to the Layout section and do Update. And again, this will go out, ensure all the changes are pushed out to all the layouts. Uh, and then it will come back here and you'll see that it is done. And now you can see the layouts have completed. Now the last option in here is if you are using Apex PMD to do your static code analysis and you want to um, see if we've updated any rule sets. So if there are any new rules that Salesforce has provided, by clicking on this we'll make sure that they are uploaded into your uh, source code analysis and then it will be available to you to select uh, and use going forward. But I know in this case we haven't updated them so I'm not going to need to update these. Once all of this has been done, you need to close all your windows, log out of Salesforce, and then log back in, and you should see this updated to the latest version, and all your changes uh, that were pushed out with the upgrade should be visible. Thank you.